not that interesting. They're dumb. They have been dumbed down to the point that it's nothing but a slide this button here. It's like playing a sliding puzzle. It's like a Rubik's Cube. Each puzzle is a Rubik's Cube, and that's it. It's retarded. It's dumb. That's not interesting puzzle making at all. I'm sorry if I'm ranting, but... It's just it's something that bugs me these days about video games. If you're going to make a survival horror game, at least in the series of Silent Hill and Resident Evil, make interesting puzzles. Don't make, oh, you stand here while your buddy goes here to activate this. That's dumb. And yes, I'm talking about Resident Evil 5. Um, Resident Evil 4, none of those puzzles were interesting. There were no puzzles, really, at all. Um, Silent Hill 4 uh, as far as I can think there are no puzzles at all um, Silent Hill 5 there are puzzles but they're dumb they're dumbed down they're this, there's what I, they were what I oh kitty cat <laughs> they were what I was talking about before where it's a Rubik's Cube that's it you get a sliding puzzle you slide the pieces and you're done that's it at least here in Silent Hill 1, there are puzzles like, if I, I'm not sure if I've already done it or not, wasn't paying too close attention to the video, um, the piano. The piano actually has a puzzle you have to figure out, you know, which button do I push first. Some would say that's on the same level, it's just applied differently, I say that's not the case. I would rather do that than make a slidey puzzle as, as as one of the puzzles that's that's dumb to me that does not make a challenging puzzle <laughs> um I'm trying to think of some other bad examples from games uh Resident Evil 4 I don't well like I said I don't recall anything from Resident Evil 4 Silent Hill Origins there were no puzzles really at all uh it's just I I can't think of anything. Games these older games had better puzzles. They were harder to figure well maybe not harder to figure out. But they at least made you rack your brain more than slide this piece here, slide it down, slide it left, slide it up, K I'm done. It's it's dumb. I guess they did that to make games more easily accessible to the younger crowds, but you're making horror games, so the excuse there doesn't work. And adults are supposed to be smarter, so I don't see them saying, oh, well, you know, maybe adults can't figure it out. No. And I don't think old granny's going to be playing Silent Hill, so... It's just, I think they use that as an excuse these days. And I keep shooting him to make him go down. <laughs> but I think they just use it as an excuse for lazy uh, designing. And I don't appreciate it at all. Um, okay, enough ranting about puzzles. Uh, also in this game, it's harder to come across weapons. Uh, later on, I come across a different weapon than this handgun I'm using. It shouldn't be any surprise, so I might as well just... Nah, I won't say it. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah. Weapons are very... Sc aren't scarce, but there's... A limited amount of them. You're not picking up weapons willy-nilly like, Ooh, I got the grenade launcher. Ooh, I got the sniper rifle. Ooh, I got the shotgun. Ooh, I got the, the assault rifle. Ooh, I got this. I got that. It's like... That's the one issue I had with a game, a more recent game called Dead Space, is there's so many, so many weapons. It's ridiculous. Though none of them were as effective as the starter weapon anyway, so who cared? Who cares, I should say. Um, we are nearing the end of the video. God, I rambled for a long time. Uh, we're, yeah, we're nearing the end of this recording. In fact, I think I stop it in the next room. I might stop it in this room if I'm not mistaken. But uh 
once again, I am. Uh, I might have a little bit more time than I thought. Yeah, I got about a minute left. Um, once again, guys, I am sorry that the audio got cut out. I myself was disappointed. I am also disappointed that my second recording got obliterated. So I will at some point try and get back there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to from my save states, but we shall see. Um, if you have stuck with me through this narration, I appreciate it. I know I didn't make any jokes, it wasn't funny. But, uh, that's what the in-game narration is for. But, uh, here's where I end the recording. So, uh, thank you for joining me. Um, I hope you rejoin me for the next one. See you then.